Hello everybody. So I recently had somebody on Facebook ask me uh, my opinion on carrying appendix and how to deal with the pain or what you can do to deal with the pain. If I am experiencing pain, all the, all the things, I'm sure you have seen these questions before on various um, pistol forums and Facebook groups and things like that. I want to start off with, I'm not trying to sell you on appendix carry. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan. I do appendix carry if I'm going to be on my feet a lot and walk around a lot. Otherwise, I usually carry around the three o'clock area and uh, or three and nine if I'm carrying a spare mag pouch. <sighs> with that said, there are things that I have figured out what to do um, to deal with appendix carry if I'm going to be sitting or bending a lot. Now, I am under no illusion that I am in the shape I used to be just a few short years ago. I have put on some weight over the last year and I am trying to take that off. But I've had to adapt in doing so uh, and this is sort of what I've come up with. Now first and foremost, uh, I have found that it comes down to belts. Uh, if you have the impro an improper belt, uh, I have found that appendix carry tends to be, all carry really, but appendix carry tends to be a little bit harder if you are carrying something like a one ply nylon belt or a unstiffened two ply or a um, you know single ply unstiffened uh, leather Walmart work belt, things like that. So what I have here are examples of core essentials and next belt, these are both the uh, ratcheting right right the ratcheting belts um, that's the next belt this is core right great belts so the other things we'll be using today is uh, Glock 19 with a spare mag it's a spare Glock 17 mag um, in a spider concealment also spider concealment appendix of course appendix appendix Glock 43 with a spare mag that is a Bravo concealment. I don't remember the name of it right now, but I've used that a lot with the 19X and a Bravo concealment torsion with a spare mag pouch for the 43. I believe that might be Concealment Express. I actually don't remember. But so this is the variety of firearms we'll be using. And as I said, the belts to go with it. So I am currently wearing a Bravo concealment inside the waistband holster with the 19X up front, right? If you don't believe me, here it is. Okay. So first things first, if you got a little bit of a gut, what I like to do is, is loosen the belt just a little bit. And this is where this is where this little release mechanism is nice. Now I'll loosen the belt just a little bit with that release mechanism and kind of push the gun down. That helps to conceal it. That helps to, a lot to conceal it. Now, when it comes to sitting down or bending over, that little bit of looseness does help. A little bit of looseness does help, but I will go in. A lot of people adjust their pants. I will just adjust this up and sit right down. So I am sitting pretty comfortably in an upright position like I would maybe eating or something like that. The belt is a little looser. The gun is pushed forward a little bit. Um, as you can see, it is right there. It just pushes out a little bit. I'm done eating, I'm getting out of my car, I'm doing whatever, right? But it's time to stand up. I'll stand up and just adjust my pants. And it's back to being comfortable to conceal while walking around. This is the point in the video where all the crybabies when 19X came out and said, you can't conceal it. How are you gonna conceal a gun like that? Well, it works. So that all may seem easy enough with something like a single pistol, right? But what about the monster rigs like 
Spider Concealment, T-Rex, Tier 1, um, there's a few others out there. I like the, the, the Spider Concealment because it's affordable. Um, I've seen the tier the T-Rex, I don't see a quality difference and um, I think Spider Concealment is working on a hinged one as well. Last At one point in time they were at least, uh, but um, I refuse to play, pay $130, $140 for a holster that, uh, that I just don't see as being worth it. So right here I have Spider Concealment. I'm going to throw this on and we're going to do the same thing. So I am now concealing the Spider Concealment appendix rig uh, it's right here right uh, it's comfortable I wear this when I want to carry my 19 and I'm going to be walking around a lot otherwise it uh, this is just fine but it is no different I will loosen the belt just a little bit because it's kind of tight right now right just give it a little bit of loosening uh, again that was the click of the letting go of that ratchet but I will loosen the belt a little bit just sort of pull it up and sit down so I'm sitting down it's right here it's it's pushed out a little bit just like the 19x now if you want just a little bit more room it is a little tight all I'm gonna do is, is push my leg out take that belt if I can find it and hit that switch again and I'll loosen up a little bit it's just fine I don't want to sit for a very long time maybe a meal maybe to relax you know get something to drink but it's I think it's okay I wouldn't want to wear it sitting at a desk all day at a job or something so that exact same method of after you stand up just adjust it and kind of push it back down a little bit the gun works exactly the same for this as it did for this and it would be the exact same thing I would do for something smaller like the 43 or 43 X in a appendix holster now this brings me to something like this which is actually on a daily basis how I prefer to carry. I prefer to carry with a separate magazine pouch and, um, and holster. I carry like this plenty often, okay? Don't get me wrong, but I prefer to carry in this fashion. And I will show you why. Okay, so my preference is the individual holster, individual pistol holster, and, and or, okay, so I don't always carry a spare mag. I think I've said that before. But if I'm going to, and or the added spare mag pouch. Now, I did forget to mention that I am wearing True Spec uh, uh, Expedition pants. So, uh, pants can also have something to do with this. Uh, True Spec Expedition has an elastic uh, waistband, so that helps as well. Uh, but otherwise, they're fitted in the butt and legs, things like that, gusted crotches and all that. Uh, uh, extra stitching where it needs to be. Great pants. I, I need to review them. I have like four or five pairs of them. They're, they're awesome pants. Anyway, so let me back up a little bit here. And I have the pistol and I have the spare mag. I'm trying not to let my fat gut hang out too much, so um, I have them in the appendix position. Now, I can do exactly what I've been doing, right? Just pull it up, sit down, no problem. Or, this is what I like about it, is I can just, when I get out of my truck, say, I get, say I, I'm driving and I'm carrying it here, right? Because when you're, when you're, I'm just going to take this off because I don't want to have to fiddle with too many things. But the same goes for the other side. You get it. But when you're driving, it is more comfortable to have a gun here. It's easier to sit when you have a gun here. But uh, printing and carrying and drawing is easier from here. So as I 
get out of my truck. I will rotate it around to appendix and walk around like this. And if I have to sit down, I sit down. But if I'm going to be sitting down for a while, I just take and I just kind of pull the pull the clip out a little bit, rotate it around, and sit down. And it's plenty comfortable. So I know that was sort of an awkward video um, because I was ducking out of camera view and all that, but you get the you get the point. Appendix carry is comfortable for bigger guys, uh, depending on how you do it, and uh, pants, belt, holster type, things like that. Um, again, I'm not trying to sell you on it. And I'm not here to argue with you about the safety of it. I've already covered that in another video. It's no more unsafe than carrying on the hip. I've proved it. But I'm not here to argue about the safety of it. I'm here to answer a person's question and many other people's questions about the comfort of it for bigger guys with maybe a little bit of a gut or a lot of a gut. Um, belt, shirt, pants, holster. Holster, I believe, makes less of a difference than the belt and how you wear it on your body up and down and things like that. Um, because if I'm wearing it incorrectly, if I'm wearing the holster incorrectly, if I have the belt too tight or whatever, this gun with a light and a much bigger footprint can easily be feel the same as this smaller holster and vice versa. This smaller holster with the 43 with the 43 can easily become as uncomfortable as the big holster. So, in my opinion, it's less to do with the actual holster uh, and more on how you're wearing it. And that is why I like going with uh, a single holster because I can, you know, then just take my finger, pull the claw out, or pull, you know, pull the, uh, the 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 belt loop out a little bit and rotate it around my body when I'm knowing I'm gonna be sitting for a long time and then do the same thing and rotate it back around to the front if I'm gonna be walking around for a long time. Hope that answers anybody's questions that may have about the comfort of appendix carry. I have nothing else to add to it. Uh, carry it like that if you like. If you don't, don't. I'm not here to sell you on it one way or the other. Again, just answer questions. Don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button and all that good stuff. Check out the links down below, and we'll talk to you later.